So George, we're uh, we're going out for pike, right? Yes. And uh, you say there are some two, three pounders in here? Uh, most of them up to about four pounds. Nice. Yeah, they run. They'll run a pound and a half to three and a half pounds. Lots of lots of northerns. Great. Yeah. Lots and of uh, what do we use to? Uh... Well, uh, for northerns, even a little troll, a minnow. Yeah. A little yellow jig. Right. We're little gonna, yellow tail. We're gonna troll. Yeah, we'll troll. Great. Yeah, we'll just troll up and down the shoreline here. Now, do they, they hit it hard or do you have to no. set it like pickerel? They'll, they'll set the hook themselves. Okay. Yeah. Still got too, him? Yeah, he's not too big. That's all right. But he's big enough. Big enough. Just, just don't reel anymore. Just bring him with your line. Don't reel anymore. Just you know, to bring him in. Bring him in. That, that, that's, that's it. That's the idea. Huh? Woo! Oh, oh jingles, don't, don't, we're don't, not don't. done yet. <laughs> no. him yet? Not yet. Oh, I just saw a glimpse of him. And it oh. is a pickerel, monster pickerel. Oh. That's wow. Look at the size of that thing. George, take a take a picture of it. No. Take a picture. Well, we're going we're going to release them anyway. Oh my and, god. No. Look at the size of this thing. Air Ivanhoe. Check it out. Look at that. That's a nice fish, huh, George? What, what, how big do you think that is? That's about five pounds. Five pounds? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Throw them back in. Yep. See ya. What do you do? <laughs> fish on. A oh, big walleye. Big walleye. Whoop. <laughs> Whoa. Jeez. Another. Jeez, nice walleye. Another beautiful walleye. Holy That's a nice cow. five pounder. Good five pound walleye. Oh, okay? Yeah. Get him? Yep. Look at that. Now we're just gonna. Let my fingers go here. <laughs> That's a nice little pike, huh? Yeah, you're going to eat that one, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Okay, so uh, here we are. We're out at uh, Joel's grandfather's lake, George Sr.'s lake. He's got a little, cute little cabin over there on the other side. We just came over, finally found some uh, rocky ledges that we're going to try and get some pickerel and there's a fish. Hit it good too. Holy shiza. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Look at the size of that. What a beautiful fish. Nice. Just bouncing it off the bottom, and uh, you know, I freaking fish pickerel my whole life. I've had so many pickerel in the last 24 hours that it's almost like they bite differently up here. I was just spinning around again in front of these rocks, and I hooked into it. Whoa! This thing's got shoulders too. <laughs> Pickerel, holy! <laughs> oh my God! Worth every minute of air sickness I got today. There it goes. <laughs> yes! We didn't even measure that one. There is some monster pickerel in here. Yep. It's got some size to it, too. It's a good size pike. Another 
pike. Ooh, that's big. <sighs> nah, it's about the same size. Brothers. Caught, uh, I don't know, three pike and some really big pickerel, man. <laughs> Thanks for being my expert, George. Yeah. Appreciate it. Well, you, you did very well on the fishing Thank today. Thank you. We, we didn't catch too many snags, did we? No, actually, it was yeah. pretty good. Pretty Don't good in that pickerel. I've never caught pickerel that big before in my oh. life. You had a good five-pounder, five and you had a four-pounder and a five-pounder. Yeah. But I'll yeah. tell you, my brother caught one that was 12 pounds. Wow. 12 pounds. And then the next day, and he cried, and I told him, I said, Andy, you've got to release that fish. And his tears, the tears came right down his eyes, and he had to release it. He was going to mount it, and I said, no way. And the next day, he caught a 10-pounder, well, and he I've cried always, again. I, I've heard that he's a big baby anyway. Oh, <laughs> he's a big hockey player. They're all babies. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go and fillet the fish. All right, let's yeah. go fillet them. Yeah. This is how the Indians did it when I was a kid. Okay, so uh, King George and I are, uh, we're doing a classic, uh, you know, similar to a, it's almost like a shore lunch, you know? We're blessed with good weather. We got some sizzle. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we, we boiled some potatoes, peeled them, you, you saw them boiling, we have uh, since peeled them. That's uh... It's not your wife's cooking, but it's, it's going to taste all right. <laughs> awesome time, guys. We'll be right back with some live entertainment. George, Jeannie, Joel, this for us has been an absolutely tremendous experience. I've learned so much about pickerel fishing, pike fishing. You've been just tremendous to us and Thanks. extremely it's been great for me hospitable too. and warm and sorry I had to kick your butt so hard in the cook-off. I know. <laughs> I don't know if we can invite her back, eh? Yeah. Beat up my grandpa and my mom and our other <laughs> chef. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't shown anybody this yet. Grandpa gave me a hat. And uh, I asked him to, uh, he said, this is a present for you, Heeb. And I asked him if he'd um, autograph the hat. So he autographed it all right in typical Terrio fashion. And this is what he put. Stolen from George Terrio. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty typical of him, isn't it? Yeah. Stuff like that. <laughs> what a great guy. But we really want to thank, thank you guys for having us up here. And, uh, Thanks, come here. sweetie. Thank, thank you. Second. <laughs> yeah. You had fun? Joel. It was a great it's time. Tremendous. For sure. Joel. Tremendous. I had a really good time. Yeah. And in all fairness, George, probably Thanks. two mornings, it was our fault he slept in. Yeah. Thank yeah. you.